Number 10, Home Alone. A Reddit user revealed an interaction they had with Slenderman in what they believe was 2014-2015. The user was watching random videos on YouTube like you might be doing right now, and they stumbled upon a video titled Slenderman Sighting 2012. They figured it was fake, but they decided to watch it anyway for their own amusement. It was just a video of people fooling around outside, but at one point in the video, you can see some kind of creature in the background. They figured it was supposed to be Slenderman, and that was it. Well, after they finished the video, they heard a knock on the sliding door that led to their backyard. This obviously startled them, and they looked out the window to see what it was. There was nothing there, and being creeped out, they locked the door and shut the curtains. They then sat back down to watch something else more lighthearted to distract them, but they couldn't concentrate. They felt like they were being watched, so they went back over to the door and claimed to see a tall man in a suit and tie staring back at them. The man also had no face. Face and looked exactly like Slenderman. So did Slenderman know they were watching videos of him and got summoned? That will be a mystery forever. Number 9. Apartment Complex This user posted their experience online saying, just as the first experience, this also happened in the middle of the night because my sleep schedule is mighty messed up. Guess you can say I'm a night owl. I like to take my dog out to pee as I go to bed late and feel bad if she has to hold it in for too long. My area isn't too dangerous, but at night I'm just cautious and let the door to my apartment complex open just in case I have to rush in for whatever reason. So I took her out to pee and on our way back to the door, a very weird man walked out of my apartment complex. He was dressed in all black, his head was bald and nearly white. Sounds like a typical Slenderman sighting, huh? I've only seen the back of him, but unlike Slenderman, he wasn't unnaturally tall or slim. What's been so weird about him next to his appearance was that he didn't seem to notice me or my dog and he went straight into to the bushes. Now, whether that was Slenderman or not, that is still very weird. Number eight awakening to him. The 8 foot stick thin specter has been spotted by several terrified residents of Cannock Chase in Staffordshire in one month. Locals have reported seeing the lean shadowy spirit with blood red eyes and wearing Victorian dress in the forest as well as their homes. Each of the chilling close encounters took place in the small mining town of Cannock which has a history of supernatural sightings. One resident said she was visited on December 14th. She explained I was awoken just before 2 a.m. by an odd scratching noise in my bedroom. To my astonishment, there was what seemed to be a sphere-shaped shadow by the edge of my wardrobe. As I tried to get out of bed and investigate further, the shadow began to stretch towards the ceiling. It was at that point I found myself faced with the most disgusting and horrific creature imaginable. It was 8 feet tall and had a white face with razor sharp fangs. Now that sounds absolutely terrifying. Number 7. Caught on Camera This extraordinary photo could show Slenderman caught on camera for the very first time. The image was taken by medium Christine Hamlet in the woods of Cannock Chase, Staffordshire. She was investigating previous ghost sightings when she took the incredible picture. She believes the photo is the only firm evidence to support the claims of the specter is currently haunting the area after taking the snap in September last year. I have been going up to those woods for months and taken lots of photos, but I had never noticed this before, she said. It kind of looks like the top half of Slenderman, like his shoulders and head, with the bottom half covered by bushes. I couldn't believe it. It could well be him. It would make sense after all these other sightings. She added, it's really exciting that this could actually be a picture of him caught on camera and the only one so far. The photo came to light after it emerged a paranormal probe had been launched in the Midlands following four sightings of Slenderman. Each of the chilling close encounters took place in the Cunnock area and now X-Files investigator Lee Brickley is trying to fathom why the ghoul has descended on the Staffshire mining town. Number 6. Watching Me Sleep Another householder near Canuck Chase said, As my eyes opened, I saw a man floating over me. I could see into his eyes. There were a fierce red color that shook me to my very core. The ordeal ended with the man, who was completely dressed in black with a hat to match, floated higher and higher until he hit my ceiling and disappeared. Currently, investigator Lee Brickley is trying to work out why Slender Man, who is feared across the globe, has suddenly started appearing. Lee said to get so many sightings at roughly the same time time is unusual. One theory is that he has nothing to do with the supernatural and eyewitnesses are experiencing sleep paralysis where individuals eyes are open but they are in a state of sleep and therefore unable to move. There are reports of Slenderman seemingly pinning victims down as if sitting on their chest. That could be down to sleep paralysis, but who knows. Number 5. Rainy Day 
This user told a story of their experience with Slenderman saying it was one of the really rare heavy rainy days, a Sunday to be exact because Sundays are very silent over here. Mostly you see families walking in the park but that's about it. Of course on a rainy day like this even less people are outside but there was this one guy. He wore a black something with a hood. I can't tell if it was a jacket or hoodie. Then I walked to the other side of the street as I noticed him. He seemed to notice me and crossed the street walking towards us. He looked creepy like an at it. I didn't like the speed of his walk as he walked towards me, nor his facial expression, which appeared kind of aggressive and insane. I walked faster and faster and he just came closer. My neighbor came out going to work, gladly because I knew I wouldn't have made it inside. All of a sudden the guy disappeared and I went inside as fast as never before. I wasn't going to blow this up like a dramatic creepy story and make it sound more interesting, it happened exactly like that. To be fair, I guess that I never was in actual real danger in this situation, but once you get in these situations the thoughts you're left behind with make it creepy. Why did that guy look at me so crazily and walk towards me but then disappeared when my neighbor came by? What was he planning or what did he want? Thoughts can drive you crazy if you let it happen. However, stay safe you guys. Number 4. Strange Figure One of the only outdoor encounters comes from Castle Ring, an Iron Age hill that has been a paranormal hub for decades. The eyewitness says while taking a midnight stroll around Castle Ring last Friday morning, I happened to notice a strange figure in the distance. It appeared to rise out of the trees and hover over the path around 100 meters in front of me. It was very dark, but I could see it clearly because of the lights coming from Regali. It was also a pretty clear night. If I were to compare it to anything, I would say it looked like a stereotypical Victorian gentleman, long black overcoat with a Homburg hat. I know this was no flying human because it had blood red eyes that shone in the night sky. It also had a mouthful of teeth that seemed to look like razors. Whatever it was, it stopped hovering and descended back into the trees. Needless to say, I did not investigate any further, and honestly, I don't blame them. Number 3. The Forest Slenderman has been caught on camera in the same forest where a man has gone missing, according to claims circulating online. In the clip, the man is filming himself walking around his campsite after noises from outside his tent woke him up. The man is petrified as he wanders around, looking for where the sound came from. He walks around a wooded area before he turns around and sees something terrifying. A white, skinny figure appears before the man, resembling Slenderman. The camper loses his breath, turning around to run as the video ends abruptly. The footage was shot in the US in 2017, and according to YouTube channel NVTV, the cameraman was reportedly camping at his favorite site on a trip and never returned. His camera was left behind, along with his car and all of his belongings, and he is still reportedly missing. This is real found footage, which is truly terrifying. Number 2. Family Affair This story is about a mother and daughter seeing this elusive creature. They said, Slenderman sighting 2013-ish, maybe. Alright, so let's get to the point. Point. I tried to block this out mostly because it was legitimately worrying. Call it BS, whatevs. I live out in Wyoming, so lots of trees, nature, etc. I was at dinner with my mother, and I don't remember how our attention was drawn to a tree outside, but once we saw it, it made my blood run cold with panic. We stared at it for a while, I saw a white orb and some off looking branches. It was like the branches were moving in the wind and in weird, wiggly ways, but it wasn't windy. My mother was weirded out, and I didn't really believe what I was seeing. We shut the curtains and tried to ignore it, and we didn't talk about it until years later. When she did bring it up to me, I didn't want to talk about it and told her how I felt about it. A random person told me that Slenderman is probably what I saw, but I'm not sure, so I'm posting here for some opinions. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. Normally, I'd be like, I'm just imagining things if it wasn't for my mother to confirm everything I saw. And coming in at number one is Slender Man Death. On May 31st, 2014, in Wisconsin, two young girls, Anissa Wire and Morgan Gesser, lured their friend Peyton Lutner into a forest and her 19 times in an attempt to appease the fictional character Slenderman. Peyton crawled to a road where she was found and recovered after six days in the hospital. Nisa and Morgan were found not guilty by mental disease or defect and committed to a mental health institutions for sentences of 25 years to life and 40 years to life respectively. Peyton says she's come to terms with the aspects of the attack but still sleeps with broken scissors. In her first interview about the 2014 attack, Peyton told ABC News that despite her lingering trauma, 
trauma, she has come to accept all the scars that I have. It's just a part of me, she said. The case drew widespread attention because of how young the girls were, how vicious the attack was, and because the two attackers said they did it because they believed Slenderman would otherwise hurt them and their families. In our number 10 spot, we have the Science Museum. This storyteller had read all about the Slenderman and couldn't stop thinking about him on a day trip to the Science Museum. Is he real? He seems so real. This girl has been known to have seen spirits in her past, and she wondered if maybe the Slenderman was just a demon that haunted people. A tall, pale demon. She was walking around the museum until she got to the space section. The museum was quite empty that day, and so she found herself alone. She went through a tunnel that is supposed to make you feel like you're looking at the night sky. She looked up, and in less than a few seconds, she suddenly became very aware that she was not alone. In the corner of her eye, she saw a tall man just hiding in the corner of the room. She got completely spooked that she tried not to move. She started to hear a weird sound, like a growling sound coming from where he was, and tears began to float down her face. She felt him walking close to her. She wanted to run for her life, but she felt frozen with fear. When all of a sudden, a young boy wearing a minion shirt walked in, followed by his mother pushing a stroller. They made no indication of seeing something weird, and so the storyteller quickly turned turned in the direction that the Slenderman was and saw that he had vanished. She decided to go home and never read anything about the Slenderman ever again. Makes sense. In our number 9 spot, we have The Opened Door. This Reddit user was up all night reading posts about the Slenderman. Yep, he got sucked into the Slenderman phenomena and was reading people's seemingly real life encounters with the mystical creature. He thought to himself, is he real? He can't be real, there's no way. He hadn't noticed that he had been reading posts until 5 a.m. It was time for work and he hadn't slept at all. He decided to call in sick. He then went about his day and went for a walk when he saw a pale shadow behind a tree. He looked closer and it was gone. He got a little spooked and went home quickly and locked the door. Then that night he went to sleep and woke up the next morning to find that his front door was unlocked. He looked at his security footage and at 3.33 a.m. his front door opened and nobody went in. He got completely spooked obviously and decided that he would never read anything Slenderman ever again. Well that's pretty wild. Why is it always 3.33 a.m.? In our number 8 spot we have the grandfather's cottage. This woman and her husband lived in a place that was going through a heat wave, so she decided to go up to her grandfather's cottage to get away from the heat. She had heard of the Slenderman stories, in fact, her husband made fun of her for thinking that they were real. He even joked about Slenderman being at the cottage that they were going to. As they roll up to the cottage, she notices a few things are off. Some scratch marks on the house that weren't there last year, and there were half-eaten rats nailed to the wall. What? Pretty messed up. Throughout the one night, that she stayed there, her and her husband hear creepy laughing and someone saying, come out to play with me. And they wake up to find a deer head on the front porch. <sighs> her husband, now being as creeped out by this as her, helps her pack up their stuff and they leave. She remembers that the trees have cameras in them to monitor the house. She looks through the footage only to find a note written on the house that says, goodbye. Thanks for playing. And then in the corner, she sees a tall, thin man hunched over and showing his vampire teeth in a creepy smile. Needless to say, she never returned to that cottage. In our number seven spot, we have The Scream. Four friends decided to go on a camping trip. They were having fun doing all the regular camping activities until one night when they were around the campfire, they noticed their friend went missing. They thought he was just pranking them, but when they flashed their flashlight at a tree in the forest, they saw a really tall figure run behind a tree. They were really beginning to get spooked, and so they decided to go to their tent and try to sleep and wait for their friend to return. In the middle of the night, the three friends heard footsteps approaching approaching their tent, and one of them said, Nice try, but we know it is you. There was silence. No response. Until suddenly a deafening scream that was so loud it shook their tent. The scream went on and on, and yep, they thought they were going to die, until eventually it started to fade. They waited until sunrise before they bolted out of the tent and into the car. They had a feeling that they would never see their friend alive again, and they were right. As they were driving away, they saw what they thought was a log floating in the water, but upon closer inspection, it was their friend. 
Whoa. Okay, well, I will never go camping again. <laughs> In our number six spot, we have the hallway occurrence. This Reddit user's family is the first to live in her house, so she really can't explain the events that have happened. When she was younger, she woke up in the middle of the night and saw a tall, dark figure outside of her door. It must have been about seven feet tall and very skinny. She thought that it was just her dad trying to creep her out, so she called out, Dad, stop it. He was known to play pranks. The next morning, she asked him about it, and he had no idea what she was talking about. She could tell he was being genuine. She spoke with her sister, and apparently her sister had a similar experience. Then on another night, she felt breathing floating over her, and she didn't dare open her eyes to see what it was. But then not long after, she was walking out of her room, and she saw an oval-shaped shadow quickly rush at her door and then disappear when it got to her. Her room. <sighs> that was the last she saw of it, but she's convinced it was the Slender Man. In our number five spot, we have Behind the Fridge. This storyteller was coming home from work as he does every day and decided to go into his fridge in his garage to grab a cold beverage. He grabbed a cold Arizona iced tea and had turned his back from the fridge when he heard it. A soft growl that was gradually getting louder. He turned around to find a tall, lanky man with long arms and a featureless face. His arms were so long they pretty much touched the floor. Its hands were black with an inky-like shine to them. He wanted to scream, but no sound was coming out. Finally, a small shriek left his body and he ran. That was the last he saw of it, but two days later, he went back to the fridge in the garage and he saw two handprints on it, black ones. Dun, dun, dun. In our number four spot, we have outside the window. Three young adults were hanging out at one of their houses, just sitting and chatting. The house was one of those places where you can't close the curtains, so two of the friends were talking while sometimes looking outside. Until one of the friends said, hey, what's that in the window over there? Outside this friend's house was a motel. All of the windows of the motel were closed except one. Inside this window, it looked like a guy was swaying back and forth on something. One suggested that it actually looked like the Slender Man. They kept watching for about 15 minutes, the guy still swaying, and they started to think that maybe it was someone that had taken their own life. It didn't seem that way though, so they decided to sleep, and if whatever that was there wasn't there the next night, such as maybe if it was just the hotel room curtains of some sort, then they would be completely shook. It was in the hotel room, and it wasn't there the next night. In our number three spot, we have a rainy night visit. One night, it was really rainy, and outside there was a ton of fog. This storyteller was at home with her animals when her dog started acting really weird. Her cat followed suit. They would just stare down the hall and then jump and run as if they saw or heard something. She went to the bathroom and kept the door open as the dog would normally scratch on the door if she closed it. She looked up at the bathroom mirror that allows you to see down the hall, and that's when she saw it. There was a tall, humanoid-like figure right outside the window. He was dark, and the outdoors was dark, and so all she could make out was that it was incredibly thin, and its head was so high, it was probably about seven feet tall. It was just standing there, looking around. She walked closer to the window to get a good look at it when it turned to face her. Just then, her neighbor came home, and its headlights flash in its direction. She watched it disappear. It's safe to say that she went around the house and she locked all the doors after that. She never saw the Slender Man ever again. In our number two spot, we have the tape. This Reddit user had heard all about the Slender Man. Tall, skinny, long arms. In fact, he had seen him. He knew what happened when you see the Slender Man and it completely freaked him out that he actually took his family from their home and they stayed in a house on a mountain. One day, the man was just wandering through the house House, inspecting things, and he came across these tapes where a doctor and a man were talking about seeing a long, tall man that was faceless. He got completely spooked, and so he turned off the tape, only to see in the corner of his eye in the window the Slender Man trying to come in. He shrieked, grabbed his family, and went into the car to drive away when he woke up. It was just a dream. He looked around the room to see his daughter crying and talking to her mom. She said, he was here, I swear. A really tall, faceless man. Dun, dun, dun. Super meta. I wish he continued with the story. I'm half hoping that he'll wake up again. A dream within a dream. <laughs> In our number one spot, we have the show. 
Facebook. This Reddit user was asked to babysit for her friend. She was babysitting a young girl with curly blonde hair. Not long after putting the girl to bed, the girl came out of her room pale as a ghost and said that a monster was outside of her room. This Reddit user looked toward the backyard where she saw a person with long skinny legs, very tall and gangly, step over the fence and run into the woods. She became very scared and reached for her phone to call the police when she realized that her phone was disconnected. The TV turned to a channel that was like a surveillance camera in the girl's room and a voice spoke and said, we're coming. The Reddit user picked up the girl and grabbed the fireplace poker and started running to find a place to hide. She put the girl in the closet and then opened the screen door to go outside. The slender man looked confused as if he wasn't expecting that. The user ran at him and threw the poker in his head. The slender man fell to his knees and then onto the ground. Suddenly, lights were everywhere and people were screaming. What did you do? And this is when it dawned on her that she was on a prank reality show. She put the actor playing the Slender Man into a coma. She wasn't charged as she didn't know, but the TV program was of course. She has never been able to shake this off ever since and for obvious reasons, that's insane. Coming in at number nine, we have what happens when you Google Slender Man. Basically, Huns, don't Google Slender Man. Or if you do, maybe just have a quick browse of the Google images and a good little laugh and move on with your life. Don't you research him too hard as you may not like what you find. One 16 year old wrote a story about how they started dreaming about Slender Man after looking him up to scare their friend. They had heard the warnings about not looking too deeply into Slender Man, but they all thought it was nonsense. They said after researching him that they loved the story but they had a very uneasy feeling. It seems the uneasy feeling led to an uneasy night's sleep. The teenager's parents said that they had been sleep talking for hours in the night. On another evening he felt watched as he went to sleep. He then had a very very vivid dream. He drew what he saw in his sleep and this was the drawing. Creepy. He also said that following the dream he drew an operator symbol and taped it to his door and since then he hasn't had any more dreams. However, he has had a perpetual stuffy nose and sometimes gets fierce headaches. He also says that his phone shuts off unexpectedly. Is he being haunted by Slender Man? Coming in at number 8, Slender Man is Voldemort. What? The world of Harry Potter and internet creepypastas are colliding here. An 18 year old girl wrote about her experience spotting Slender Man or Voldemort when she was 15 in Oklahoma City. She said her and her friend were out getting snacks from the 7 Eleven and they spotted a very tall, thin, extremely pale figure in the park. Her and her friend kept referring to the figure that they had seen as Voldemort. They talked about it for years, convinced that they'd seen the Dark Lord. Was he lost and recruiting Death Eaters all the way? over in Oklahoma. I don't know. Two years later they came across the legend of Slender Man and immediately put two and two together. Perhaps they hadn't seen he who must not be named, but actually they'd seen something just as horrifying. Coming into number 7, we have the urban legend of the stick man. One teenager recalled dreaming of Slender Man when they were kindergarten age. They said they went to bed and had a dream of a long narrow corridor with only light coming from the end. They walked down the corridor into a bright white room. Now when they turned back to get out of the unsettlingly light room, they saw a tall slender man in a suit silhouetted in the hall. As they got closer, they noticed that the man was wearing a red tie. As they got even closer, they noticed how gigantically tall he was. As they then got closer still, they noticed that the man had no face. The kids screamed and screamed and screamed until they woke up. They noticed that the clock was 1257 and that their dad was next to the bed looking worried. When their father asked if they were okay, the kid calmly replied, tall stick man. Scary. My one gripe with this story is, can many four year olds read the time? I don't know. Coming into number six, we have the origin of Slender Man. Okay, so we've talked a lot about what a death bringing creep Slender Man is, but where did he actually come from? I may actually have an origin story for you here. On a website called Play With Death, I found a story about where old Slends may have come from. They say that he was once an American man who was tortured to death. First, he was beaten with a log, totally battering his face. Then, he was impaled with a two foot spike to a tree. They say that his arms and legs were pulled out of their sockets and stretched stretched out and out and out and out again. He died a slow, painful death and he came back to haunt wooded areas as a new type of long, tortured ghoul who wants to get revenge by 
helping people in similar ways. Coming into number 4 we have the Gravity Falls abduction. According to urban legend, Slenderman is making his way into mainstream media in order to brainwash vulnerable kids and teens. He has been spotted in the background of a number of shows. In 2012, eagle eyed viewers spotted Slenderman in an episode of Disney's Gravity Falls. This scary bringer of death can be spotted in the background of an episode. Dipper and Mabel are in the woods, obviously, and Slenderman can be seen lurking behind them. He also apparently pops up in Dragon Ball Z and My Little Pony. Coming into number 3, we have the 2007 investigation. According to Slenderman's stories out there, an investigation team discovered 22 bodies in the woods. The dead were said to be mainly children and teenagers. Now, the discovery became known as the Steinman Woods Massacre, and the incident was hushed up. According to the legend, the incident was reported by the organization. The organization are supposed to be like a special ops team that track Slenderman and try and contain him. The report reads Investigation team discovered 22 bodies of both genders and various ages impaled on broken tree branches in a radiating circle paddle with chest mutilations, as often noted with Slenderman. Upon confirmation, lead investigator called for an immediate evacuation of the investigation team at 1700 hours. Bodies first discovered at 1100 hours. Deadline for safe evacuation of team with only viewed physical evidence of Slenderman approximately 1730. Now, unfortunately, they lost contact with their team at 1725. A second investigation team then reportedly recovered a camera equipment a week later. I don't know what happened from there, it's all very hushed up. This is all we know about the Steinman Woods massacre. Finally, coming into number one, we have the German tale of Der Grossmann. It seems that there are a number of different legends of a menacing Slenderman, not just in America. Slenderman might not actually be an urban legend at all. Instead, he may be an old legend dating back to the 1700s in Germany. It seems that in Eastern Europe, talk of a tall ghost slim man has been circulating since the 16th century. In Germany and Romania, they call him De Grossmann, which translates to the tall man. He was said to be a fairy who lived in the Black Forest, which is in southwest Germany. Now, the Black Forest has been the center point of many fairy tales, especially from the Brothers Grimm, so suffice to say, it is a spooky place. In the German tale, the tall, slim man would chase bad children who snuck into the woods at night. A journal entry from 1702 seems to coincide with the legend of De Grossmann. Translated from German, it reads, My child, my Lars, he's gone, taken from his bed. The only thing that we found was a scrap of black clothing. It feels like cotton, but it's softer, thicker. Lars came into my bedroom yesterday screaming at the top of his lungs that the angel was outside. I asked him what he was talking about, and he told me some nonsense fairy story about De Grossmann. He said he went into the groves by our village and found one of my cows dead hanging from a tree. I thought nothing of it at first, but now he's gone. We must find Lars, and my family must leave before we're all killed. I'm sorry, my son. I should have listened. May God forgive me. We have a horrible tale at number 10. We have dead rats on the wall. This story is so messed up. This whole saga was posted on Reddit No Sleep a few years ago by Redditor Moonbay. She went away with her husband to her grandpa's cabin, and on their way up to the country, her husband cracked his classic slender. Slenderman joke. Sure, don't we all love a Slenderman joke? I mean, I guess, until things get scary and then it's categorically not funny. When they got to the cabin, the girl saw scratch marks on one of the sides. Now, it was kind of like someone had dragged a rake across the side of the house. She made a note to tell her grandpa, but assumed it must have been animals. That night, she heard something outside, once again like a scratching. Her husband joked again that it was Slenderman, but then said, seriously, it must be rats, and in the morning, he would set up some kind of pest control. It turns out, it was indeed rats. Rats nailed to the cabin wall, anyway. The husband was a bit concerned, but thinks it was just kids playing a prank. Now, this would have been when I got the F out of there. The next night, there is scratching noises and heavy breathing and growling coming from outside the cabin, and the pair both agree to leave at first light. Now, in the morning, they step out to a whole menagerie of dead woodland animals strewn around the property. Gross. Not only that, goodbye and thanks for playing is written in blood on the wall. Was it Slender Man? Or some other woodland killer. He comes through the Xbox at number 8. Something weird happened with an Xbox five years ago in Ohio, and then somebody posted to Reddit about their experience in a new house. My bud Da Vinci wrote that their new home had been the location of a murder and a previous reported Slenderman sighting. When this guy 
guy's parents were out one evening, he was playing video games online with some friends. Everything was totally fine until he got a text and he put his controller down to read it. When he went to pick up his controller, he noticed that his game character appeared to morph into Slenderman and then stare at him through the screen. Then he said, the character started to move in the screen and then it seemed as if it was going to come out. Now this was when the guy woke up, thank goodness. He saw his clock which said it was 4am and he thought, whoa that's really weird, he must have been asleep at his computer for almost 2 hours. He then noticed that his bedroom door and window were open. Now he was a bit freaked out and he closed them and went to check on his dog. When he came back into the room, he noticed the clock again. It was 2.16am. Weird, he thought it was 4am and 2.16 was the time he last remembered playing his game. What was going on? Coming into number 7, we have the Slenderman tape. Sometimes Slenderman will come for you and in those times you need to just get out of there. Get out of there exactly is what this one redditor did when Slendy came for him. Scissor of Venus wrote that in their old hood they saw Slenderman. Tall, slender, black, no face, creepy, sure. After seeing him a few times, he decided, you know what, I'm done with this neighbourhood, I'm gonna move. Good on him, Slends is a creep. When they were at a new home, a village by a mountain, the guy's wife saw something weird in the mountain whilst hiking. Later the guy found a tape in a drawer that was seemingly an interview with a child called Jimmy. The kid seemed scared about something and the tape turned into screaming that, I quote, he said, he's here, he's here, this Jimmy kid seemed to totally lose it. He then seemed to hallucinate and the guy listening to the tape also had a hallucination of his very own. He dreamed that Slender Man came to him with his tentacles and that he actually hid his wife and a kid in a mountain cave. He then woke up to hear the kid in the tape screaming. Meet the only group that might be able to stop Slender Man at number 6. We have the Optic Nerve. Optic Nerve are also known as the Organization, the Bureau and the Anti S Walker Unit. This is the legendary group that observes and tracks Slender Man. The Optic Nerve is highly secretive, but the urban legend goes that they're based in Washington and are a government organization, possibly a collaborative outfit between the USA and Germany. The ON is said to have been watching Slender Man for years, and they believe that he is harvesting organs for some kind of greater evil purpose. While the team tracks Slender Man, who they call the Tall Man or S Man, they don't yet know how to neutralize him. We have Slender Man in the fog at number five. The person from this reddit post was convinced that Slender Man was just a creepy pastor until they encountered him on a foggy night. The sun was setting and it cast a weird bluish light over the fog. The narrator's dog seemed antsy and the cat seemed really weird too, although the pair didn't love each other. When the writer of the reddit post went into the bathroom, they looked into the mirror and saw something reflected. It seemed that there was a long tall figure outside looking around. They thought it was just a trick of the light, but when they went out to let the cat out, they noticed that there was a crouched figure by the trees in the garden. As they strained to get a look at what it was, their neighbours came home, lighting up the fog around them with their car headlights. Now the figure then seemed to disappear. What was it? We'll never know. The Canic sightings are coming into number 4. In 2015, Slenderman rumours were rife as ever when not one but four people reported seeing the spooky figure in and around Canuck in the Midlands of Great Britain. Some swear the sightings were Slenderman, others were convinced it was the lost soul of a ghoul roaming around the old mining town. That being said, three of the four Slendy sightings were inside a house. Now one witness said that they woke up to see a sphere staring at them in the shadows of their room and as they got up to investigate, the woman said, and I quote, As I tried to get out of bed and investigate further, the shadow began to stretch towards the ceiling. It was at that point I found myself faced with the most disgusting and horrific creature imaginable. It was about 8 feet tall and had a white face with razor sharp fangs. Another household reported that the tall man had fierce red eyes and was wearing a black suit and a hat. The indoor sightings are being explained as the effects of sleep paralysis, but this is just too much of a weird coincidence. Another witness who reported seeing the man outside said that he wore a long black overcoat. What is going on in the middle of England? Coming into number 3, we have the Scottish and Irish folk legends of Fear Duba. Fear Duba is a Celtic legend about a dark man, the black man I believe if that is the uh, most accurate translation. Fear Duba is said to be a malevolent force that lives in the woods and wears all black. Sounds like someone we know. He's also said to have long tentacly arms which he's able to pass off as branches when he wants to be disguised. Now by disguising himself as a tree, Fear Duba is able able to peep in the windows of children and tap on the glass with the branches. Speaking of branches, we have the legend of the Dutch Tacken Man at number 2. Tacken Man means branch man in Dutch, and the legend is strikingly similar to that of Slender Man.
Man, which leads me to think that the many Slender Man like stories across the world might in some way be connected. We might not have the same name for the menace, but it is eerie how many different cultures have had a similar figure in their local lore. With Tacken Man or Branch Man, he has legs that resemble thin tree trunks, he's very tall, blending into the woodland. Now with the American and English legend, it's more the arms that are long, but here it's the legs. Still though, it's thought that Tacken Man shares some key similarities with the German legend of Langer Man, Long Man. They're both creepy woodland dwellers that appear to show up in the background of seemingly normal pictures. Finally at number 1, we have the legend of what actually happens to you before Slender Man gets you. We have Slender Sickness. Those stalked by Slender Man have been known to contract what the internet is calling Slender Sickness. This sickness presents itself in coughing and sneezing fits, then leads to coughing and vomiting blood. It's also characterised by extreme exhaustion, paranoia, nausea, fever, nosebleeds and a lot of short term memory loss. Not ideal. The Slender Wikia explains this sickness is Sigma radiation, so basically radiation poisoning. This is apparently is contracted by being too close to the Slender Chap. Apparently the illness gets worse the more you spot him. If you do have these symptoms in real life though, I think maybe do see a doctor and don't let old Slendy Wikia diagnose you. Number 9, The Shadow Man. This first victim reports having been tormented by Slender Man his entire life and referred to him first as The Shadow Man. Many people who experience night terrors report seeing a tall, lanky shadow figure that torments them while in sleep paralysis. This guy first saw him when he was just 8 years old. While getting him to go to the washroom, they saw a tall, shadowy figure standing in the hallway. He reached out and beckoned to him with long slender fingers. At some point he worked up the courage to turn on the light and the figure disappeared. Four years later it appeared again on his uncle's farm, standing in the highest window at the top of the building of the old barn, staring right at him. Then two years later after that, he appeared again, this time a lot closer. By this point this person had developed sleep paralysis and would happen fairly often. As they were about to drift off to sleep, there he stood at the end of his bed. They couldn't move or scream and the figure just stood there watching him, waiting for something, until finally he burst up from the bed and Slender Man disappeared. But the sense that someone was watching him still remained and never went away. Number 8, Trampoline. I mentioned previously that Slenderman became a kind of internet meme contest, but just how Slenderman became such a prolific urban legend remains unknown. Perhaps it's because of innocent sightings like this that make a more sinister explanation arise. Check out this clip. After a record, when he played the video, he saw something like a Slenderman seeing him from his back. I think what freaks me out about this video the most is how horror film esque it is and how mundane. It was just a kid wanting to record his badass trampoline skills, but what he wouldn't have noticed while he was filming was the presence of something watching him. Considering the fanaticism around Slenderman, it is possible that predators could assume its identity to carry out evil deeds. I don't know, but I hope he's safe and that who or whatever that was was never seen again. Number 7, 7 Eleven. Apparently, Slenderman loves a good Slurpee. This next story comes from a young woman from Oklahoma City. She was 15 years old at the time when her and her friend made a typical visit to 7-Eleven. Next to the convenience store there was a park with all of these weird statues. It was around 12.30am and usually it's an uneventful walk, but this time they saw an extremely tall figure, as tall as the branches in the trees nearby. It was dressed in black and extremely pale, sounds like Slenderman. Attempting to show no fear in the face of potential danger, she shouted at the person to see if she'd get a response, but to no avail. It just stood there. There, staring at them. I hate that. Needless to say, they booked it and referred to the being as Voldemort because that's kind of what it looked like. But then, years later, her friend informed her of the tales of Slenderman, and after seeing a picture, she realized that's exactly what it looked like. Imagine? Uh, uh, uh. No, thank you. Number six, a cemetery sighting. This next story predates the whole Slenderman launch as well. This Reddit user reports a story that happened in her hometown before Slenderman was even launched. Reports of kids seeing a tall man in a suit walking around was already the stuff of legend where she lived. Her friend's older sister was skateboarding home one night and she had to pass the cemetery. Of course, there's a cemetery. Of course, there is. As she went by, she kept seeing tall shadows following her and 
she initially just like wrote it off as a weird reflection of the light, you know, as you would. But then when she got home, she saw a creepy looking old man uh, wearing a black suit standing in her backyard. She ran inside and looked out the window, but he had moved. He was already across the street under the trees, again, still looking at her. Stories like this were pretty common in her neighborhood, but it wasn't until the Slender Man story actually launched in 2009 that people actually got really scared. If stories like this actually exist and remain to be true, then here is my question. Since the way he tortures his victims is through mental manipulation, who is to say that the image of Slender Man circulating is a result of the creature's own grand plan? Number five, alone in the forest. This next story comes from Zach who lives in Texas. This one creeps me out because it reminds me of the stories kids at school used to tell about the forest behind my school. While Zach was growing up, there was a big patch of forest behind his house. He used to play there all the time, but one evening made him question and ever going back. Something was off about that evening and so he began looking around. Off in the distance he saw a figure just standing there. It was impossibly tall, dark, with featureless face, but somehow he knew he was staring right at him. Like a smart lad, everything inside him told him to run and so he did. Follow your instincts, kids, okay? He was about a seven minute run to his backyard so he started sprinting, but no matter how fast he ran or where he went, the creature was always the same distance behind behind him. When he finally made it to the other side, he turned around and saw the creature stopped. He never saw the creature again, but years later, he started hearing about Slender Man and knew that's what he had seen. 